Thanks for watching this video. What I have here in front of me is a ceiling fan without the blades on it. I've taken the blades off. You can see the lights down here below in the pool chains. And what I want to show you is that when you look at a light fixture, you have your white neutral wire, you have a bare copper conductor, which is your ground, and then you have a black wire, which is used to switch the lights on and off, and it is connected to your switched hot wire that goes to the switch on your wall. When you pull a light down, hopefully you will have only the same three wires in your fixture box, but you never know. You never know who installed it. You could have a crazy you know, spider web thing going on up there in your junction box, and so don't be messing with electricity unless you're a qualified person. But what I want to show you is many times people get confused because they're looking at their ceiling fan, and rather than seeing only the black, white, and the bare ground wire or a green ground wire, they see three wires in their box and then they see four wires coming from the ceiling fan because they have this extra blue wire here. Well, these are actually labeled. You can see the white's labeled neutral and then I have a black cable, I mean wire labeled motor and one blue wire labeled light. Well, they've split these up inside the fan. One's controlling the light, one's controlling the fan so that if you want to on your wall you can have two switches one for the fan, one for the light. And then you don't have to worry about using these pool chains all the time, you can just use your wall switch. But in many cases, people only have one switch on their wall, one cable going to their box for their fan, and they start putting their wires together and they're like, I have an extra wire, and so they're confused. All you have to do is take your blue wire and your black wire and twist them together and then put them under the same wire nut with the one switched wire coming from your wall switch and it will turn on your fan and your lights at the same time and then you can operate them individually with your pull chains. And if you want to make it even easier for you, they do sell um, ceiling fans that are remote controlled and have these little units that go in them to where you can even use a remote control and you don't even have to get up to use your pull chains to change the speeds or anything like that on your fan. So, hope this video is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.